I know three people the last year who've had brain surgeries or their kids or their wives have, three people, because fungus is getting through the blood-brain barrier and growing in the brain now. I mean, what the hell is that? <laughs> What the hell is that is that fungus is one of those things that loves sugar. And we live in a society which, again, some people say that high fructose corn syrup, you know, was an attack on the on the population. And it was developed that way. It's got traces of mercury in it as well. But when you Not add, traces. I have a Washington Post admits 90% of uh, soft drinks have illegal levels of, of, of lead and mercury. You can Google that. Type in soft drinks, high levels of lead mercury, guys. I'm going to show folks. Go ahead. When you contaminate the soil, when you contaminate, you, you know, the, the soil is contaminated because it's watered. Think about ye ages ago where the ancient people would take water from the local river and irrigate their fields. And that water, because there were fish in the water, the fish were going to the bathroom, so there was probiotics in there. And that's how you got the soil-based microorganisms. That's how the soil was living. You got inoculated from the earth. Just like the earth. So if you look at the earth and you look at our digestive tract, it's almost exactly the same because our intestinal lining is almost like the soil and the soil of the earth that grows out of it. So our our gut is linked to every single system in our body and keeps our bodies healthy. So does the earth, soil, and the water supply supposed to keep everything healthy. But we've cut down all kinds of trees. We've poisoned the water. We've poisoned the soil. And that water, that acid rain that comes down on the soil, and we've been watering our soil and spraying the plants with heavy doses of atrazine and glyphosate and all the... But we've got solutions. I, yeah. I, I want to get to this next hour. We've got 15 minutes till they're going to be with us the whole next hour. This is undoubtedly, because I've already was researching this, You've been obsessed with this for years. You finally have something that really counters this in a big way. And, of course, no one here at the office that's been taking the probiotics wants to come on air and say, yeah, I had irritable bowel syndrome or all these problems, and then I took Biome Defense from InfoWars Life, and literally they all say it's gone. It's over. Uh, I may talk them into coming on air and talk about it, but this is next level, this new product, which I'll talk about right now, uh, Myco ZX. Yes. Let, let, let's briefly talk about Myco ZX. In the next hour, we'll actually get into the news and the big stack of stuff you've got. But it's available at InfoWarsStore.com. 10% off when you get it with Biome Defense. Uh, the probiotic is the very best out there. We have also have free shipping orders, $50 or more, and 10% off when you sign up for auto ship. Additionally, on top of that, and then you fund an organization dedicated to the truth and get something that you and your family absolutely need. But you should consult. Your healthcare provider, this is not a game, this is not a joke, especially if you have really big uh, yeast levels or fungus in your body. Uh, you know, there can be some responses to this as you're flushing it. But uh, why is this product so powerful? What does it do? So we've been doing research just like you have on what's currently going on. Obviously, we stay ahead of the game because our job is to protect and address the root cause of the problem, which is why I've been... Now, we want stuff for our own kids. It, well, we've been... This is why we've addressed... The president, you know, let's address the root cause of America's health problems. But getting back to fungus, it's becoming an increasing epidemic that's only getting worse. Killing I've bats been, everywhere, other animals, oh, squirrels uh, it, are know, dying. Funguses were used as bioweapons. So uh, why is it suddenly field. killing so many mammals? Number one, because our immune systems are suppressed because of the environment in which we live. So our gut is unhealthy, our liver is toxic. Yeah, but why it's is it? Why is a, Why are bats all over the U.S.? Why are funguses suddenly killing entire, you know, 10 million bats in one cave? I mean, suddenly just devastating. Well, because the bats' environment is changing as well. It's not like just we change. The whole earth changes when the earth, when the environment becomes. Uh, uh, an environment that's detrimental to the earth. It also becomes that Google guys uh, mold and fungus killing bats. It's all yeah, over the news. Because, white I mean, nose. bats are also there's more sugar out there too, and I'm sure that that has a lot to do with it because the conversion in funguses are, are adapting and they're changing. As a matter of fact, there was a new fungus called Candida auris that was just re released, which is a killer fungus as well. Fungus is and something. And the fungus that's, now reached the West Coast and killed seven million bats in one year. Yeah, fungus is a growing epidemic, and I've been testing this formula and, and making changes to this formula for over 10 years. I've had nobody... Here's the thing, Alex. When you go to the doctor with a list of symptoms, you, you can look at fung, symptoms of fungus overgrowth in the body. It's going to show... You're going to pull up over 100 symptoms, everything from brain fog, lack of energy, insomnia, headaches, bowel problems. Joint pain. It's, it's joint pain. It's linked to Crohn's disease Infertility. Now. What about the obesity epidemic? I know they test people that are really obese and, and like they're they're just colonized by 
fungus. Le yeast overgrowth, I have a study right here by Jacob Tietelbaum at the Fibromyalgia and Fatigue Center in Dallas. Yeast overgrowth is linked to an average weight gain of 32 and a half pounds. What doctor... By the way, you... folks, look, I'm not <laughs> bragging. We game-change the presidency. We game-change the new world order. Globalism is falling because of you. You are the info war. We, listen, this is religious for me, okay? I do not bring you something unless I absolutely believe in it. And if we were reigned with a billion dollars, I would turn 99% of it against the enemy. I want to defeat them. I'm ready to give my life. Everybody knows that against the enemy. Please, we only have a limited supply of this. I want to get your reviews. I want to hear what you have to say. For me, it's been incredible. Uh, don't take it on an empty stomach, though. Myco ZX, antifungal, uh, antifungus, uh, anti-yeast. Get it today. Limited run. It'll be months till we get more. Infowarsstore.com, Infowarslife.com, or 888-253-3139. I cannot sell something unless it helps somebody. I mean, just because metaphysically, I, I mean, I, I mean, I just is who I am. I, I'm not even that good of a person. I just metaphysically don't want to hurt people. I want to treat you like I want to be treated. Texas hospitality, and and I can't believe no one has put out something this good. This just like other folks took probiotics. I said take probiotics. They didn't have the effect. They took the biome defense you developed over a decade, the very best strains, healed them. I mean, you know, horrible irritable bowel, horrible problems, gone in one month. I'm telling you, and, and for my research, correct me if I'm wrong, because we haven't had this talk, is Myco ZX is next level. Isn't good bacteria will displace the fungus and the yeast, but isn't actually annihilating them the key? Or you said there's a healthy balance. Well, here's what I mean, happened. this is next level. So, first of all, if anybody drinks alcohol out there, and if anybody uh, eats sugar, then they just you're grow most off likely this. going to have an excess of fungus in your body. And actually, yeast is a fungus and mold is a fungus. Most people don't know that. They think it's separate. So it all goes into the hidden attack and the hidden agenda well, How of is it suddenly growing in brains everywhere? Well, there's a lot of... There, there's actually studies coming out right now that show that funguses can produce 600 times more neurotoxins, you're talking about the brain, Wow! generated from a high EMF environment, okay? So the electromagnetic, phone, they're feeding yes. off this. Electromagnetic radiation. God, maybe they're a hive mind or something. I, I'm are, trying to figure this out. Why does the attack seem so alien? Because I've I never seen aliens. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, everything the globalists do is like anti-human, kill us, annihilate us. So why are they out to get us? Is it just psychopathic inbreeding? What is it? It's it's really more or less a slow death. Is when you, when I know, you but why the are way, the elite trying to kill us? I'm saying who are they? Well, because they want. First of all, it's a money thing. They want to control. They want to control us. They, if you really want to get in deep with, so the, the fungus, ultimate power is just hurt us. The ultimate fa power is slow death, increased money for the pharmaceuticals, being able to. It gets deeper than that, Alex. When you look at more gallons, which which most, which is a fungal disease, people are having fibers growing out of their body which is being traced back to some of the compounds found in the chemtrails right now, which are prions. And they're, they're, act, they're showing that you can control these things sure. through electromagnetic signals, just like what you're talking about. Well, that's what they say. It's a binary weapon. Right. They put it into us. Then they've, they're, they've been testing in labs. Then they're testing on us, seeing how it resonates and controls it. They can put out a wavelength and activate it. The fungus one. Let's get into the latest product and again we fund ourselves with water filters and non-gmo seeds everything's about life everything's about what you need with all the crap that's in the water table but micro zx discounted 10 percent uh free shipping as well right now until next week when you get it with the biome defense probiotic the two go together like a horse and carriage why is the fungus why is the mold why is the yeast taking over why is it mainstream news causing all these weird brain tumors and stuff what is going on what has changed Dr. Group, the new product will sell out definitely in days. We have a small test batch. We've been trying this for years. You've been testing it for almost a decade. You've got rave reviews from your patients who've been taking it privately at your clinics. Uh, let's talk about Micro ZX right now and why it's available at InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com, and why it's so important. Well, years ago when I had my clinic before I was shut down, one of the things that people would always come to me and say, I've been to five or six different doctors and no one can figure out what's wrong with me. And every after a while, I figured out, okay, if no doctors can figure out what wrong, what's wrong with you, you're, you're suffering from some sort of toxicity in the body. It's either going to be some sort of chemicals, metals, fungus, your bowel, uh, uh, parasites. 
a lot of times people are suffering from fungus or yeast or mold overgrowth and parasites. And when have the, has a doctor ever told them that? Like I've rarely, rarely, unless it's the patient that just asked the doctor to do a bunch of blood and saliva and urine tests and everything, most likely you'll never know. And it's designed that way. It's getting worse and worse because of all the carbohydrate-based diets, the fast food, the microwave food, the EMFs. All of that stuff is creating a thicker, stronger fungus. People are just uh, men and women. I mean, women are having vaginal uh, infections. Candida is one of the main things that we're dealing with, systemic candida infections. Crohn's disease, in mainline today. studies. Crohn's disease coming out now, and ju as just came out not too long ago, the Mayo Clinic study implicates fungus as a cause of chronic sinus sinusitis. An estimated 37 million people in the United States suffer from chronic sinusitis and, and in inflammation of the membranes of the nose and the sinus cavity, and for years and years I know and years, when mold's high, I feel like I've been run over by a car, but I take this new product, it knocks it right out. This has been in the works, like you said, for this formula has been in the works for over 10 years. I've been adjusting it. It's so fresh. I mean, when can you go at, to any store and open up a bottle of anything and you can literally smell the power of the herbs? Take a whiff of that. I mean, it's a very powerful Just the formula. licorice alone knocks me on and, my back. And like I was saying, if you... What, it, tell folks what's in it. So what you have in this is you have a combination of wildcrafted Jatoba bark, which actually comes from the rainforest. So we have ethical harvesting that goes on and we work with companies down in brazil and peru and where the rainforests are and they go out and they actually harvest this by hand and then we process it without exposing it to any uh, microwave radiation which by the way the majority of products that come from overseas do get radiated they radiate radiated. everything now. um and so we we try to get that in the its most natural fresh form that we possibly can it's got potiarco in there and these herbs contain different compounds that have been proven to attack different types of fungus, mold, and yeast organisms. We use licorice root, which is uh, a lot of times these organisms will put this mucus biofilm layer around themselves, and that needs to be broken down, and licorice root kind of helps break that mucus membrane down. And we also started experimenting with enzymes to do that as well, and it contains hemicellulase because the, especially candida, has a surrounding made of a cellulose matrix. So that hemicellulase is an enzyme that breaks through and eats that as well as the beta-glucanase. And then we have golden thread and then anise as well. So very powerful formula. It's amazing. Most people don't even know. See, that's the way a lot of this stuff is designed. It's designed to incapacitate you over time. Soft kill. It's a soft kill. So you don't even realize what's happening to you. By the you way, I've never smelled licorice that strong. Time. Of the smells, you get it so fresh, you 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 know you cold press it, you don't process it. It's strong. Listen to this lady that was testing this formula. She writes in, "I had trouble breathing, itching in my eyes, my ears, back of my throat, and nasal passages. Had mucus that I could not get rid of, dizziness, and the list goes on. Been to four different doctors for five years trying to rid myself of the issues I was having. Spent thousands of dollars getting nowhere." They told me things like, there was nothing wrong with me. Oh, you have allergies. Uh, must be the dust at your work or your home. Have been on half a dozen different meds and nothing worked. Found this formula and have been on it for two months now, and it's made such an improvement in my health. I am now active in sports again. I feel better, stronger, livelier. Thanks a million. And, Alex, I have stacks of these. I understand. Let me ask Just you this. Like why, you know. why is the fungus? They admit this everywhere. Again, I know like three or four people that have family or themselves have brain tumors suddenly. Kids from fungus. Yeah, what the hell's going on with the fungus? Well, there's a lot of different types of fungus right now that... that but I mean, why is it getting so bad? Why is it getting worse? I think that the re from everything that I've found, number one is what happens is as soon as somebody starts feeling bad, they go to the doctor's office. And the first thing the doctors... Did, fungus has the same signs and symptoms almost as they don't know what to do with it. They think it's flu-like symptoms, so they immediately put people on antibiotics. I, looking at all the of the... Looking at all of the things that I've studied about the fungus and trying to figure out why it is causing the brain uh, malfunctions, and not only brain cancer, but it's linked to anxiety, it's linked to depression, it's linked to psychosis, it's linked to suicidal thoughts, all of that. 
I think a lot of it stems from when they go to the doctor's office, the first thing that the doctors do is they use antifungal. They don't even use antifungal medic medications, Alex. They use strong antibiotics. What does antibio what do antibiotics do? They completely wipe out the gut lining. It kills the bacteria that fill in the space, so now, now the fungus grows more. So now you have an overgrowth of fungus and bacteria in the gut. And, and, and listen to this. Fungus especially candida, produce... Because we always hear about, about bacteria in the news and how they're resistant now. We never hear about right. fungus. It's just as prevalent. We Actually, I would say more people are in a greater health risk due to fungus mold and yeast than they are bacteria. Uh, fungus just is really hard to kill. It lives, it replicates, and because of the poor diet and everything that people are eating and the high sugar and bad carbohydrates that people are consuming... Why does fungus live off that? Because it feeds off of sugars, actually. It feeds off of sugars. Plant, and that, plants and, eat sugar. Yeah. So, so how does this kill it? And, and, and people do say they, they, they it can get pretty dramatic if you're really infested, so tell people about it. Well, it creates an environment that they do not like. And it, it has uh, the different compounds in the herbs, like the berberine uh, and some of the herbs and the hemicellulase. Uh, those are designed to break down the walls first of the molds of fungus. They create disease. a slime to protect themselves. They do. They keep, they create a biofilm. And then you have to eat away at that. And then once you eat away with that, the components, the main components inside the herbs are designed to actually disable and cause dysfunction and stop replication of the fungal and of the fungal or yeast or mold organisms. So we've got folks who take biome defense and suddenly their irritable bowel's gone. In just a month. I'm trying to get them on air, but it's embarrassing to talk about these things. And other probiotics didn't work for them. How does this work together with the biome defense? Well, the gut is always the first thing that you want to repair. It's the it's the first exposure point. Like Hippocrates actually said 2,500 years ago that the gut is the key to all health and also the key to all disease. And we've been saying that for a long time. It's the first exposure point to the outside environment. So when you put in all this stuff... The first thing that you need to be healthy, the gut is the largest endocrine gland. By the way, we get the term Hippocratic Oath from Hippocrates. That's right. For, what, 10 years now, they no longer give it at medical schools. That's right. Do no harm. <laughs> when you look into any of this stuff, whether it's uh, bowel conditions, gastro, even gastroenterologists don't know this stuff. When you look into fungus, when you look into the effects of fluoride, when you look into the effects of pesticides. So I'll go back. I get why it's growing in us worse, but they, I mean, I know a police officer in Cleveland, I'm going to leave it at that, who was like the hero of the department, you name it. He went in a vacant house that had mold. He and his partner almost got killed by the mold. He had a brain tumor from it. Then I looked it up. It's all over the place. People getting brain tumors. What the hell? Why is it suddenly growing oh, in the brain? That That is that's, that going, right here. that's going to lead you to what black mold actually creates. And black mold has been used as a bioweapon dating back a long period of time. Uh, the black mold actually creates, let me see if I can find it right here, the military, uh, different types of uh, biological testing and everything that have been done. Document cam, folks. But you see all these right here, bio toxic black mold and biological weapons. Now, black mold has been found even in dishwashers now and in laundry machines uh, in homes. And I have an article on that as well. But black mold... Biological weapons have been made from T2. It's called trichoothoxine mycotoxins. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But those are the mycotoxins produced by toxic black mold, which can be found in even growing in your homes. And several countries have grown toxic mold to harvest the T2 mycotoxins. Even during the Vietnam War, these mycotoxins were released over remote jungle areas in Laos. This caused over 6,300 deaths between 1975 and 1981. Sure, but let's not just blame the elites. Is it our modern unhealthy homes this stuff grows in? Yes, yes. It's, a, it's, it's the combination of what mold really needs, the black mold, what that needs to survive is a damp, toxic environment. And especially down south where the humidity is above 35%, you're, getting, you're going to get more black mold. So the south, obviously, like allergies so in usually Austin. Usually when you look at the black mold causing brain dysfunction or you cause a respiratory, a lot of respiratory issues or brain tumors or anything like that, most of the time those are going to be down south. In the southern. Well, let's talk about state. then what uh, MycoZX, what do you call it? MycoZX. So it's called Normal Myco Fungal and Use Balance InfoWars. 
life.com and it supports the broadcast but how would people so, protect us what to do so basically there's a there's just a fungus among us i mean and it's just coming out with we need to do something to protect ourselves it's really hard to avoid so it. just so like when you're a kid cats have ringworm that's a fungus and it can mm -hmm. eat bloody holes in your skin i mean this stuff gets in our body there's no way really to avoid it right now because they're even showing that someone can be exposed to fungus and it spreads very easily. I mean, you touch, you know, especially in the crowded big cities right now, you can, you can spread it through respiratory, you can spread it through uh, touching people. So, so tell folks what MycoZX from Forslive.com does. So MycoZX is something that you can use to cleanse. It's, you know, all about cleansing the body. You cleanse your body of harmful yeast and fungus. And these are known organisms. herbs and compounds and enzymes. Yes. That I mean, I've, got, I've been trying this formula, and I've got stack of results, research studies on people for 10 years, and this is the first time that's gonna, it's, it's going to be launched today. It's a proven formula. It's not like we're putting something together at the last minute. Uh, I've been talking to you but, about But like it. I said, you, you don't want to eat it on an empty stomach. Uh, it just depends. You can take it with food. I, I personally, I, I like to just experiment with myself, and I've taken it, on, taken it on an empty stomach. But, yes, you can take it with food. Some people can take it on an empty well, stomach. Well, I mean, it's pretty hardcore. It is. Well, what's hard, hard, hardcore is... The candida, the, fungus attacking the candida fungus releases up to 80 known neurotoxins. Because and they get really pissed when they get bombed with this. Yes. Yeah, so what happens is they start blowing up and all those neurotoxins and toxins end up coming out into your bloodstream. So that's, I mean, when you take something that kills off a harmful organism that's in your body, it's that dead organism that needs to be removed by your immune system. And most likely your immune system is not working at 100% anyway. So now your immune system has to go into overdrive to clean up. Think sure, about but what happens once you've been on it a while? It's amazing. Just all. Oh, my gosh. Your energy starts increasing. Your bowel activity starts to repair itself. Your mental clarity starts coming back. I Look, I eat healthy and avoid as much. I don't even eat sugar. I try to avoid it as much as I possibly can. I don't hardly even drink alcohol that much. To me, I do a fungal and a, a mold and a yeast cleanse at least every three months. I give it to my kids because they're at school and they're around all these other kids. Sure, it's, and this is know, jam this packed with 120 powder so GMO, capsules. It's GMO so free. You probably got like three free. runs of this. How often would you take uh, Myco ZX from so Life? So I would take that straight for a period of about three to six weeks uh, to, to start my How many pills a day? Cleanse. So uh, we recommend two to three capsules twice a day. Two to three capsules twice a day. If you've already, if you're working with, we always recommend we have to, you know, we're not allowed to make any claims. Uh, we always recommend you check in with your healthcare practitioner. Just uh, if you're on medications, you know, make sure that there's not going to be any contraindications with that. But it all boils down to you taking responsibility for your own health and us giving your listeners, your fans, everybody out there the best possible thing to take care of the solution. Well, I mean, listen, I know folks that have taken other probiotics and not had the effect. They, we, we take Biome Defense that's discounted with this 10% today. I mean, that is an amazing probiotic you develop. They, they're perfect for each other. They work hand in hand because the Biome Defense has 23 strains of the best probiotics that are specifically cultured for InfoWars that they're not cultured on gelatin. They're not made with animal products. They don't have a bunch of toxic excipients and fillers in there. They actually said I was crazy when I came up with this formula. They said, you're going to pay. We have nobody. There's only about four. Yeah, everybody's five. real cheap. It's like a dollar in the bottle. We're yeah. putting like 20 bucks in the bottle. Yeah, there, there's there's only three or four or five. Uh, well, this is medical grade. Fact. Super fancy clinics have stuff similar. I don't even think they have anything similar to this. I mean, there's there's no doubt. By the way, folks, that's not hype. You understand? We have to give you the best. We just we I want This is what my kids take. You understand? Exactly. I mean, there's this is the stuff that I developed first. I, I say I was I had all these sponsors with nutraceuticals, the great people, but I was looking for you know five years. So I found somebody to partner with, and everybody said you're the best. And, I mean, and I you are a little you know, not neurotic about it, but getting the right ingredients. You, you sometimes that's why most of our stuff sold out sometimes Look, six months because you're waiting to get the very best. I mean, you won't just put something out. That's why DNA Force is on back order right now because we're we're getting a fresh, fresh batch coming in. It's uh, one of the ingredients, the Rodeo Life, which is the Tibetan Rodeola concentrate that we use in the DNA Force, which I love that formula. I no, but it's worth it, though, day. to not have this every, stuff sometimes. Everything, you have to make sure that you, it, it's up to your standards. 
if you're going to give something to somebody else, I want to make sure that I'm taking it, that it's up to my standards, that it's the best of the best. And I'm constantly wanting to make everything better. And we will be. We'll be coming out with some new things uh, that you and I have been talking about and working on. Well, you're doing a great job. And this making, one is the ultimate game changer. Myco ZX feels great with the bomb defense. Infowarslive.com or triple A two five three three one three nine. And you can't support an organization that isn't fighting hard. Look at the response we're getting. We were changing the world together. You are the info war. God bless you all. Kevin, Delton, Alex, Azim, Susie, and others. Your calls are three minutes away. Stay with us. This is the info war. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. We are on the march. The Empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. All right, I was talking to my crew. We've been sold out for like a month of our non-GMO, organic, non-fluoride toothpaste that has tea tree oil and peppermint and, of course, colloidal silver and iodine in it. People say, well, why are you sold out? Because so sometimes we buy a bunch of a great product and it doesn't sell for six months. We're sitting on it and then we don't have any money. We've never kind of gotten over that hump to have a big surplus of money to be able to gauge all this. So we did a limited run of Myco ZX uh, supports normal fungal and yeast balance proprietary blend of herbs and enzymes made with high quality ingredients from ForestLife.com developed by Dr. Group. So when I say at current sales rates, because they just told me, they said, this is a hit. This will be sold out in about three days. Dr. Group, Definitely. people actually get this. I guess people actually know how bad fungus and mold and all this is. And then using Mother Nature to counter this out-of-control system that's killing so many farm animals, bats, you name it, so many ground-foraging mammals. Uh, it's just taking over their, 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 their I, mean, I mean, the bats get white nose. It just basically eats their sinuses, their lungs, they die. No wonder we're so sick, too, especially in the South. Mm -hmm. I and mean, I love Texas, but I've told people, you know, if it wasn't for stuff like this, I mean, I couldn't stay here in Texas. The, the allergies, the problems. How long until we can produce more of this? Because it's about to sell out. I'll get, I'll get on it right away. Uh, you know, I'm hoping we can have some more in with, within about six weeks. I mean, when so, you know, the things that we've got to me, test it all to California standards. Is, it's all when you don't hear anybody talking about anything. That's the stuff you have to worry about when you don't hear the mainstream media talking about how bad the fungus epidemic is and the mold epidemic and the yeast epidemic and the can and all the different strains of candida. You know, Science Daily just came out with a study. That, well, this was in 2015, how deadly fungus evades the immune system. Let's do a document cam shot for TV right viewers. Here. Just lay it right there. They'll be able to aim at that. So uh, they found that candida albicans can kill immune cells even after its cells have died. They let the immune cells called macrophages consume the fungus, and after an hour, they remove the fungal cells from the macrophages. Then they expose... So, our, so our body tries to kill it, but it kills our cells, not them. So, no, our, our macrophages actually eat the fungus. Kills them. But what they're saying is it doesn't actually kill them. Do you know fungus is, uh, the fungus cells actually have a nucleus in them. Bacterial cells sure, don't so have Fungus, nucleus. I'm not a doctor like you, but I've researched it. Fungus is basically what anthrax is. Anthrax is basically like a plant-based deal. And when it begins to die, it does it. It folds in, eats the other half, and becomes a crystalline source that can live a million years. See, that's And so the thing is, thing. plants and fungus basically can't be killed. Well, then how is... How are herbs then flushing it, binding to it? What are they doing? Well, the good ones are breaking it down, and then the components. See, there's always a solution to every situation. You just have to find it. The hard part about formulating a good product is sure. It's like I is forget there's some plant in, in, in Belize, like ten times worse than. than um, so each each plant has you know anywhere from ten to fifty or sixty different chemical compounds in it, and so you have to find. Uh, you sure, but I'm to, saying like in Belize. Uh, you, th there's this plant, I forget which one, it's like 10 times worse than poison ivy. There's another plant, though, you rub, it neutralizes right. it. Exactly, yeah. There's always one that does this, and there's always one that combats it, and that's the hard part, trying to find it. But when, when the medical profession, and, and, and no one is talking about the dangers of fungus and, and how big of an epidemic it actually is and how many people actually have it. I well, I want to have you on more to talk about this. It's a big subject. I want to thank folks for supporting us. We have free shipping through next week on everything at InfoWarsStore.com. 10% off when you sign up for auto ship. 10% off when you get 
Myco ZX with the uh, Biome Defense Probiotic. Delton, Delton in Texas, you're on the air. Hello, Alex. Welcome. Dr. Group. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. what do you have, Delton? Yep. I, had a, I had two questions. Uh, first question was, uh, how do you, how can you test the levels of the fungus in your body? Is it, do they do a blood test or, or what do they do? Usually you have to go to a specialist, some sort of a uh, environmental, a doctor who specializes in environmental toxins. They're around everywhere. You can find them, and then you can do a fungus panel. Uh, you can do saliva testing as well as blood testing or the current uh, testing uh, methods that are available out there. And then my second question was, uh, I live here in Houston, and my, my father, uh, he passed away from cancer. And uh, so I started, you know, digging around, searching around and doing different things. And uh, I actually uh, came across a Dr. Brzezinski or Buzowski. Mm -hmm. uh, he has like a, a protein that's somehow supposed to help attack the cancer cell. To, have you ever heard uh, or worked with him? Or anything? Everybody's heard of him. He's had yeah, some really good yeah. results. As a matter of fact, he just had a court case last week, and uh, they were trying to take away his medical license, and he ended up being on probation, which is just absolutely sick. And I hope that this new administration actually puts in some protection for some of these doctors. That yeah, we're never going to have innovation. I mean, I mean, I'm I mean, those he was on 60 Minutes 20 years ago getting Yeah, results. he's he's been using uh, what he calls anti-neoplastins, and, and I do know Dr. Brzezinski, and I talked to him. His office is down the road from mine, and he's a great guy, and he's devoted his life to working with alternative or natural methods that work. I mean, 20 years ago, MD Anderson had a 4% success rate with cancer, and cancer, you know, chemotherapy and radiation are not the answer. There's plenty of different doctors. I, I talk to doctors all over the world. Well, let's expand on this. The globalists want to depopulate. Trump talks about suppressed technologies. He knows as president now. He wants to start releasing more of this. Thank you, caller. L look at this article. Not with her. Hillary Clinton bombs in New York City mayoral race polling. And punch <laughs> that up. Look how sick she looks. She looks, looks like, like she's dead. And, and she's, like she's so eye. arrogant. She's way behind everybody in the poll. No one wants her, even liberal New Yorkers. Again, it's the elites aren't perfect. Their arrogance it, it destroys them. They believe everybody belongs to them. They believe they're God. They believe they rule. And they don't. That's why they can be defeated, folks. We people need to stop thinking they're so powerful. All right, let's go to Alex in Michigan, the Azim in Florida, and Jay in Colorado, Mike and others. Uh, Alex in Michigan, you're on the air with Dr. Ever Group. Hello. Um, I just want to say thank you, Alex, for articulating, giving a voice to people who can't really explain the problem, and you do a really good job. So well, thank, thank you. you, brother. We're all in this together. Um, yep. And I just, I grow mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I love to eat them, and I study them. So if you don't mind, I'd like to give, like, the data dump to you guys about everything I know. Um, cordyceps mushrooms are amazing for the lungs, for lung detox. You should be taking that, Alex. Cordyceps mushrooms, uh, I believe Russian Olympics. Lymphosis, sure, sure. That. There's the good. There's also the good funguses. Oh, absolutely. I'm a big fan of all the the different mushroom, uh, uh, different strains out there, and uh, I think that's a good point. Thanks for calling in and letting. Yeah, we're here bashing fungus. How powerful. We actually use and are looking at different blends of uh, medicinal mushrooms. So fungus is not necessarily bad. I'm glad. You I'm going to skip the break so he gets more time. But, 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 but uh, uh, Alex, extremely beneficial. Get back into mushrooms. mushrooms. Get back into well. good, good fungus. Go ahead. Okay, uh, reishi mushroom is amazing. Chaga mushroom, you guys got that in the bone broth. That's amazing. It's got the betulinic acid from the birch trees, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Um, AHCC is being studied in Japan. That's active hexose correlated compound, and they have a patent on it. The Japanese do, and it's amazing. A lot of cancer patients are taking that there, and it's done wonders for a lot of people. Um, yeah, see. the AHCC has been around for about 15, pro no, more than that, probably about 20 years. We were doing research with that, actually, when we were doing, when I was involved with a uh, alternative cancer research team back in the mid-90s. And that was, uh, that was a new, exciting product uh, that was out. So, so keep going on the mushrooms, brother. Yep, and the AHCC, that is the mycelium of the mushrooms, like the actual root mm -hmm. of the mushrooms. Um. Yeah, and you just extract that into a tea or whatever. And uh, 
Yeah, you do that with racing shock because a lot of the medicinal mushrooms, those actually need, you can't really eat them. You have to extract them. And um, they're really hard, like chaga and reishi. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, those are amazing. Uh, it's almost morel season. I encourage everyone to pick morels and eat wild morel mushrooms. I was going to ah, I was going to ask you about morels. You know, we've been looking at it's a very expensive mushroom. I love morel mushrooms, but it's very therapeutic. Uh, and uh, we were thinking about actually putting some morels uh, in a formula, but uh, God's given us a, incredible magic on this magic planet. It's a luxury item. I Why is morels. the fungus getting out of control, the bad ones? Why is it spreading everywhere? They admit it's like killing everything. Yeah, I think it's just the like condition. most of the bats are the, dead the, from it. Yeah, the the conditions everywhere, and and the well, uh, you know, there's been reports and there's been uh, testing done that it's uh, being sprayed in chemtrails. Um, it's also sure, it's but also see the dichotomy: mushrooms and good crops. fungus have some of the most incredible compounds on earth. They admit, so it's like the best thing in the world and the worst thing. It's like. Yeah, I mean, not only are 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 funguses for people as a bioweapon, but they've been used against crops, especially like in Vietnam, they used a a rice fungus to knock out. Sure, the CIA famously even puts funguses on the legs of insects on food, and then they because, release them yeah, to go put it on there. Because if you take away a people's food supply, you're going to cripple that that population. So it's it's not like we're going to put the fungus here in your body. We're going to put the fungus on the food. And that's it. it. Was and used they, to wipe out. Uh, it was used to to wipe out the opium plant as well. That's it. The and globalists the are plant, in war with humanity. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Alex. Great.